<laughs> well, I get a chance to sit down with Evan Ross and Ashley Simpson Ross at their home. Now, we dished about their friendship turned love story and what's it like having Jessica Simpson as a sister and Diana Ross as a mom. You both are basically Hollywood and musical royalty. What's it like to live in this household? Evan has like quite a few friends and things going on all the time. So he's the social one. Yeah, he's the social one. And I think the nice balance is that we are just like a down-home family as mm -hmm. well, so. Yeah, yeah. Mom comes here a lot. Tracy's working like crazy, so she tries to come. But you know, the family's over all the time. Speaking of Tracy, you've got Tracy, Alice Ross, and Jessica Simpson as famous aunties. Tracy's been really, and so has Jessica, been really amazing about the clothing. They yeah, always got gifts. Yeah, they're the best the fashion gift givers. Yeah. Tracy sends gifts like crazy with clothing, yeah. and so does Jessica. Yeah. Jagger looking Jagger cute. looking flawless. <laughs> what a family get together is like. Great. It's a lot more normal than normal. I think people yeah. think. I mean, you know, it's a lot of chips and dips and, <laughs> you know, it's fun. Like, I it's, feel like you've become quite the chips and I dips I love chips person. and dips. Yeah, yeah, but they put me on a, they put me on a whole new game. It's like, yeah. Really? Like, yeah, yeah. What have you learned from her family? <laughs> <laughs> well, they got like this ranch dip. We're and Southern, they, so they make this like ranch dip with like, with like shredded cheese and bacon. That is phenomenal. And your family? <laughs> have you introduced her to? Oh yeah, we do. We, Christmas lobster. Every do Christmas lobster. <laughs> Ross makes the lobster and it's phenomenal. We having the shell on it and having to break it open and the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So she's got And collard good. greens. Mm. I've been making the collard greens the last few times. It's so good. Takes a lot of time, but it's amazing. This um, is making me hungry. <laughs> me too. I'm me like, too. Can I come? <laughs> Funny enough, I feel like it's all, feels kind of Southern cooking even on and Tracy makes the best salads. Best salads. Mm -hmm. Evan, you've always said that no matter how famous your mom is, that she always made sure to you know, put motherhood first. Yes, and now does. you guys are a famous family. And like, how do you manage to keep your kids staying grounded? As long as you give your children love and they understand what's going on in the world and you know, as, have compassion, I think it's, you know, it's not, it's not a, the hardest thing in the world. And being a mom is like my number one thing in life. And yeah, she's, she's, she's just like incredible. That. So, yeah. yeah. Is it, is it really normal? Do you do regular I mean, also, I don't think I've known anything else. Definitely. That's true. <laughs> but, but, yeah, but it is normal. It is, I feel like it's normal. I mean, Very. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Ashley, you love being a mom so much. Mm -hmm. And you have you. a great baby daddy slash husband. <laughs> yeah. Um, any more kids in the future? Ooh. I love, really love their vibe, and they seem like a great pair. They really were, and that wasn't a technical error there. You all need to stay tuned to find out what they have to say about having more kids. More Raw Word, up next. In the beginning when we started dating, she would wear a lot of my clothes, and. I like some of her stuff, and I just feel like you know there's nothing better than like putting your boyfriend's mm -hmm. clothes on. It's okay. The it's only fine. time I was really not happy when we were sharing clothes was when I was pregnant and he could fit into my jeans. Yeah. <laughs>
do stuff together, you know what I mean? That's the goal, right? To be able to do what and you love fun. and be around family. Yeah. You know I mean? We have something in common to talk about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so fashion. Yeah, we're working on it, like a unisex line. I, I feel like even in the beginning when we started dating, she would wear a lot of my clothes and I like some of her stuff. And I just feel like you know, there's nothing better than like putting your boyfriend's mm -hmm. clothes on. I feel yeah. like it's so fun. And for me, for this kind of random, but I've always liked boys' clothes. So it's kind of come around to that now. I think there is really no gender to clothing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It gives also men a lot more opportunity to be a character and have their own look. You know what I mean? It, it's a cool, cool The time. only time I was really not happy when we were sharing clothes was when I was pregnant and he could fit into my jeans. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right, so we got some rapid fire questions. Just the one word, first word that comes to mind when I ask you these questions, okay? Uh -oh. Favorite TV show? Blackish. Jane the Virgin. <laughs> Who's the better driver? Me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Who leaned in for the first kiss? Probably. Me? Really? Oh, aggressive older woman. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I feel like it. I hope so. Sounds good. Well, I appreciate you guys taking time yes, and allowing us into your house. And just, what advice would you give people out there that are looking for love? Trust your heart, listen to yourself, and, and also don't be afraid. Yeah, trust your gut.